Hello everyone. Today we are going to study Sutherland Hockman polygon clipping. So as we know that polygon it is a figure with n number of lines and the uh, polygon is always closed but after clipping them they we might end up with something like this which makes an open polygon. So we need to modify this algorithm so that we can get a closed polygon after uh, clipping as well like this something like this so for that we have number of rules which we are going to study here are these rules uh, like rule number one says this is our window again if v1 and v2 both are outside the window then no point is saved we are not considering we are going to ignore both of the points we are not going to save any of the points in figure b we can say that like we are traveling from v1 to v2 so v1 is outside and v2 is inside the window therefore we are going to save this portion v1 dash which is lying on the window v1 dash and v2 they both these both points are going to be saved and in the similar way over here we can say that v1 and v2 both are inside right both of the uh, uh, vertices are inside the window therefore only v2 is in the ending vertex okay only the v2 will be saved the one which is ending this line in the similar way we are moving from v1 to v2 right we are moving from v1 to v2 v1 is inside and v2 is on this uh, v2 is outside and v2 dash represent this line over here at this point which is lying on this window so what happened is uh, v1 is inside and v2 is outside so we save v2 dash this portion is going to be saved v2 dash here we have an example for our algorithm suppose this is our window given and this is the polygon which partially lies inside the window and partially lies outside. So by using uh, this algorithm, what we are going to do and the rules which we have discussed, we are going to clip this algorithm in such a way that we are going to follow this direction in which it is going. Like from V1, V1 lies outside, outside uh, the window, therefore it is rejected and we reach at this point. So we uh, represent this as V1 dash and we uh, save it and move to v2 v2 is inside so v2 is so i'm going to write the list of the variables which are selected like save what are being saved we save v1 dash v2 and from here onwards we can see that uh, v2 lies inside and v3 lies outside but v2 dash is the point which is intersecting at the window. So we represent as v2 dash. So this is also saved. v2 dash. These saved vertices will appear in the output. So that is why it is important and that is why we are representing them. So in similar way, v3 is outside the window. It is rejected. But here at this point, we are clipping this at v3 dash. So v3 dash is to be saved then we move inside and move to p4 p4 is rejected but the point v4 dash is the one which is clipping this line in the window so v4 dash is saved then moving from v4 to v5 this is completely outside so these both will be rejected but from here moving to v1 we in uh, clip this line at v5 dash and at v6 dash so these are the points which will appear in our output so here we can see that v1 dash v2 v2 dash v3 v4 dash and v5 and v6 these are the points which appear in our output so this is how we clip in uh, polygon so Thank you for watching. I hope you would have understood this topic as well. Thank you.